one of those students who are having problems preparing for their math exam? Are you one of those students who even after memorizing all those formulas still got low grades in your subject? Then you come to the right channel. At the end of this video, you will know what you, you should do to get high grades. You will learn how to prepare for the test. You will learn what it takes to be a math guru. Now, if you find this video useful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell notification for our future videos. This webinar series is brought to you by Random MCQ, an online provider of MCQ practice tests in different subjects. The aim of Random MCQ is to help students fulfill their goals and dreams to succeed. I am John, and today, I am going to talk about how to prepare for a mathematics test and get high grades. There are many students who only start studying for the test one week before the scheduled exam. As with different subjects, test preparation does not start one day, or one week, or one month before the scheduled test. Test preparation should start in the first day of the class. Every student should expect that every subject will have an exam. Mathematics is no different. Don't expect to understand math concepts, if one will only start studying before the scheduled exam. Do not study right before the test. If you were going to run a 5k or a marathon, how would you get there to the race? Would you run there? Of course not, that would wear you out. Don't stress out your brain right before a test. It's okay, and even a good idea, to get together with other students before the day of the test and warm up by going through some problems. Always practice math problems. By practice we mean take a pen and paper and solve math problems. Many students study maths like they study theory subjects, i.e. they read and memorize. This is a wrong approach because you will surely forget the steps when you write the paper. There truly is no substitute for rigor. A strong foundation in logic, set theory, and reasoning abilities is, in the long run, going to be the most efficient, and in turn, easiest way to study mathematical disciplines. Make sure you understand the basic foundation of mathematics before going to the complex topics. Take good notes. Taking good notes means writing down enough of what is written on the board, and spoken aloud, and skipped, etc., so that you can go back and follow every single step. Maintain a formula book to write formulae chapter-wise. This will save time during revision. Math is cumulative, meaning the concepts build on previous concepts. If you don't work some problems between classes, you are going to get behind. Perspective combined with lots of mechanical practice is the best way to build a preliminary concept and skill. If you've done all of the above, you should have a really good grasp of the material. At this point, studying is just seeing how all of the pieces fit together and reinforcing concepts. Read your notes from beginning to end. Make sure you understand where every symbol and number come from. Work on practice tests. Do the practice tests that cover all of the material that will be on the exam. Take the practice test without your notes, or book, or any help at all in a time setting. Practice different types of questions without looking at the solution at first and develop problem-solving skills to tackle any tricky question for any questions you got wrong. Find five similar problems and work the problems. Do not keep reworking the same practice test over and over. Working the same problem over and over is always a waste of time. You are not learning anything. You are memorizing, and your memory will fail you if you don't understand the concepts. Random MCQ has all that. It has sufficient number of practice tests that covers the topics that you need. There is no shortcut to scoring high marks in the exams. The only way is to study and practice, but keep these points in mind while studying and writing exams. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and visit our website.